Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while, but I thought I'd get a video out with a quick garage and sort of car update as to where we are. So um, if you saw the end of the last video, um, I basically just moved house. Um, so for the last sort of three, four weeks, it's been pretty much full on trying to sort out all the bits and pieces in the house, get everything ready, get the kids' rooms done. Um, and now I'm at a stage where the garage, which was full of boxes till about here, is now pretty much empty. Um, so yeah, so we will do a garage build. I've got some storage now in here, some of the tools away, um, but we will do a garage build. We'll do something special with the floor. We'll probably paint the walls. Um, I've already changed out the light to one of these kind of LED ones, which is really good because it's basically just an LED bulb um, that you change the fitting and it just screws in. It was about 30 quid, but I'll put a link in the description because that's turned out to be really, really good. And you can actually change the direction Apologies if it's really bright on the screen, but you can change the direction of all of these so you can point them in different directions and you get the light where you need it to be. Anyway, so that's a quick update on the garage. Moving on to the cars, where are we with the cars? Well, we have the Corsa and because they're still building here, you can see how much dust is in the air. And you'll also notice when I brought the Corsa in and left it in, it got a bit excited and decided to start a leak so what i essentially need to do today is fit a new sump gasket to it um, i did try resealing the sump with some of the paste but that that's not worked so we're going to do it properly and get a gasket on there so this is going to go in today and then we'll get this all ready to go up for sale get it all good clean um the eos i started a video on this well oh, crikey probably about two months ago. Um, and then I had to stop with the house move and everything else. And again, this is absolutely filthy. So we will kind of pick up a video on this um, after we've got the mini done. And you're probably wondering where the mini is. Well, that is stored around the corner because I haven't got enough space on the drive, despite having quite a nice drive now of three cars plus the garage. This is gonna be the game changer for winter. So my plan is get the courses sorted out, get that up for sale, release some money, do the garage build, um, get the Mini sorted out. A number of people basically commented to say, oh, the Mini's still showing is off the road. And quite right, it's still off the road because I haven't had a chance to do anything on it. So the last video, obviously, we've got all the suspension and everything sorted out. I've now got a service kit. Well, I bought it with all the original parts anyway, so we're going to do a full service on it. And the rocker cover gasket, I noticed is leaking on that, so we've got a new rocker cover gasket as well. So there's quite a lot of content to come, but I was just conscious of the fact that I hadn't posted in a while. Um, and I wanted to get something out. So there's the garage update. Let's crack on and get this sump sorted out on the Corsa. All right, so there we are all set up. We've got the uh, axle stands in place. And then oh, we need to tackle this sump. Now, when I bought the replacement engine for this, it already had some welding here. Well, I had the garage check that out and it's all good. So even though it doesn't look the prettiest, it's, it's doing its job. Um, so, try and get some light on the situation. First thing we need to do is drop the oil. And then, as you can see here, where the seal's failed, get a bit closer, it's really, really wet. So I think the gasket seal that I used before is just rubbish, so I don't recommend that. But when I was trying to get this done, I could not find a sump gasket available online. So luckily now I have. Um, so what we have to do, drain the oil, and then we've got all these, I think the E10, e torques all the way around, these need to come out. We need to remove the sump bolt from the bell housing on the gearbox. So there's one there, one around there, and another one here. And then we need to undo the exhaust and drop this down a little bit. I might even take this brace bar out just to give myself a bit more room because it's only two bolts, one at each end. So I'll probably take that out as well. Drop the exhaust down a little bit. It gives us more room to work from. 
and then we'll get this out give it a good clean clean up all the seal all the way around and then we'll fit that new gasket into place and get it all buttoned back up so let's crack on with that now Okay, so that is the oil drained. And I say that oil's only been in there for a thousand miles, so it's still really clean. Um, we've got the bolts off here from the exhaust, and we've also taken the bracket off the back here. So that's all done. Next thing to do is get all these bolts out of the sump and out of the bell housing so we can drop this down. And just by loosening this off, just gives you a bit more access to be able to drop it and turn it and take it out. Okay, so under the two brackets in the center just down there and it dropped down and I've come out. Good news is it's not the crank seal, which was a slight concern because there's no oil pooling at the bottom of the flywheel all coming down. So we know it was just literally that sump gasket and I think I know why it failed. Um, on the area here, I think it got nicked slightly when it got put back into place and it just left a gap. And that was allowing it to get down and sort of accumulate down here, which was what caused the issue. So, yeah, so that's all off. What I'm going to do is get a blade, clean up all the sealant that's left on here, and the same on the, um, the block. And then I'm going to clean all of this out, and then we'll, uh, we'll reassemble it with a new gasket. Right, so I don't know how well you're going to see this in this light, but this is the gasket. I've lightly cleaned up the area. I was just going to rub it down, and it doesn't fit. Every single hole aligns perfectly, apart from this bit here. I've just looked online. Every single um, Corsa 1.4 uh, A14 XER, which is the engine that's in here, has this exact same shape sump and this apparently is the only gasket you can get for it which it clearly doesn't match so i might have to go back down the sealant route because i cannot find a different type of gasket which has the holes kind of offset up there and they're cut out here so yeah <sighs> i think i'll probably call it a day i'm going to see if i can find somebody who's got a parts washer maybe just take, take this down and stick it through a parts washer make it nice and clean um, and then I'll do a bit of research tonight and see if I can find out and catch up with you the next day. Right, so it's the following weekend. I think we'll just need to do a bit of a recap on this. I went through the audio of when I did all the other bits and it didn't come out great. So I'm just going to re go over what we've done. So, taken off the exhaust from the cat, dropped the two centre rubber mounts down. And then on top of that, we've taken all the bolts out of the um some that's now all cleaned up all the face of this is all cleaned up and degreased and oh, I get up i'm also gonna i think a fairly good job of cleaning up the sump itself so all of this um, little gauze has been cleaned out all flushed through and again all degreased so i've just done a quick um clean up of all of the holes because when you push the bolt through to secure it into place if there's any old scene in there you don't want it coming out and then causing a blockage um so yes, yeah, so I'll give this one more wipe down and then we'll get the sealant on there. And the way we're going to apply the bead is we'll probably start here. Now on the old sealant, um, I looked and it goes around this side rather than this side, which kind of makes sense. So we're going to stay on the inside of the bolts, come around here and feed the sealant all the way around the edge. And then we need to leave that, I think, for like 10, 15 minutes for it to tack off and then we can lift it into place.
Right, so that's all the bolts just done finger tight. What I'm going to do now, starting at the middle, tighten this one, then tighten the one at the rear, then move to that one, then to the one at the other side of the rear. And the idea is, from what I can see online, is you start in the middle and spread out, and that way it evenly spreads it to the far corners. So we'll crack on and do that now, get them tight, and then we'll talk them up to where they need to be. Okay, so we're back, it's another day. I didn't want to bore you with like refitting all the little bits underneath. Um, I left the car actually for four days with that seal to go off. Um, I say I refitted the brace, um, redone this plastic under tray, which is just basically a screw there, screw there, and one in the wheel arch. Um, topped all of the bolts up, and then I've just bolted the exhaust back in place. Um, put some fresh oil in it, and managed to also spill some down there, which was rather annoying. Uh, so, yeah, let's give it a run. Oh, that's the other thing I need to fix on this, the bloody key. Oh, the button doesn't work. So you have to like force it out. I think just need to buy a new key case for it, but right. Let's see how we get on. looking good I can't see any leaks so I'm gonna let this run now for about 15 minutes and then we'll cut back to them okay so it's been 20 minutes everything's looking nice and dry nothing on the floor and I think most of the oil I managed to get down there on the exhaust has now burnt off so I hope this is it but that should be the end, the very last thing that I had to do on the Corsa, apart from clean it, because it is filthy. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up, get it listed, and then we'll get the Mini in, and we're gonna do a service on the Mini, and get that ready for MOT, because I've lost about two or three months of videoing, because of the house move and everything else with work, so, yeah, I'll be, I'll be glad to see this one out of the way, some cash back in the bank. And this should make a really nice car for someone. So that brings us to the end of the Corsa series. The car is now listed. If anybody's interested, drop me a message um, on Instagram or via my email, which is actually in the channel details. The car is up for £2,295. You're more than welcome to uh, test drive it. Um, but please, only genuinely people that are interested please contact me um so yeah that car has had exhaust front discs and pads um the engine replaced a service done on it um what else have we done we've done a new wing so many different things have happened to that car and it is the longest ever series on a car i've ever done this is video 10 on a car and i'm not buying another um car which does not run for a very long time apart from the eos which i already bought which doesn't run so yeah apart from that i'm not going to buy another non-runner but anyway if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you're not subscribed share it on your social media and i'll catch you in the next one thank you very much for watching and thank you to everyone who's watched the mini uh, video which we posted most recently that has had over 54,000 views which completely blew me away and we've now doubled our subscribers I think when I first started the video on the mini was like a thousand subscribers we're now over 2,000 so thank you so much I can't thank you enough and you're really supporting this channel and helping us grow in subscribing and liking what you see so enough waffle can't wait to see you in the next one Thanks very much for watching. Good night. Oh, and just to add, the wife hasn't kicked me out. I am actually away with work, which is why I'm in a hotel. She's not got annoyed with the number of cars I've bought yet.